So, let's talk a bit about the hope. First of all, it's brilliant. I mean, I've got to say, just got to say, congratulations to the guys for making such a great album. And I asked, I, you know, Dan sent it to me pretty soon after after they'd mixed it, and I was just I was blown away pretty much. I just I just called him up and asked him who produced it, and he said it's Luke Luke Watley, is it Luke Waitley Watley and Ryan Brooks. So I, I don't I've never heard of, but they've done an absolutely amazing job. You know, they basically got the band to slow down very slightly, so you can hear everything a bit more. You get a bit more ring on everything. It's a bit more open, and then you know, to, and then they really banged up the you know the choruses. You know, really got the choruses big. You know, it's, it's great. It sounds great. And a guy called Bob Cooper did the mix. Sounds yeah, sounds brilliant. I mean, to me, off the top of my head. It's like it's like their black album, basically. When Metallica, you know, like Metallica did, they slowed it down just a bit. I mean, let's face it, Ferocious Dog can slow down. They're still going to be fucking faster than everyone else anyway. It doesn't matter. So they basically slowed it down a little bit just for the record, and it lets everything everything breathe, you know. So to me, it is. It's like their, you know, and it's banging tune after banging tune. It's like for me, it's definitely it's like their black album, like the black album for for underdogs, basically. You know, and for, for me personally, some of the, the musical, some of the songs I really like, Pentridge Rising, the first single, the mu I love the banjo and fiddle on that. I, I always I always have really liked just like tightly, tightly focused unison playing the tunes. It just, it just makes everyone sound like they know what they're doing, you know. And it's, yeah, it's just a great song. You know, it's a good video as well, actually. And then Broken Soldier, I really, is another one of mine. And I know that it'll be close to to Ken's heart that one anyway you know, you know it's just again you know music musicality of it all and the just the banging you know banging choruses isn't it it's all about it's all about songwriting and you know writing good songs exiled life brackets the chase right you know you've done your mature album when you're putting titles in brackets after <laughs> when you've got parenthesis you're on your mature album but like I said it's like the material. It's like the black album. It is. It's like folk rock's fucking black album. It's it's, uh, it's a monster basically. Another one of my favourites actually is Born Under Punches, just for strictly personal reasons because I know it's not what the song is about. You know, the song is about abuse and uh, and you know, fucking running away from horrible shit. But but my dad was actually a boxer and and I did boxing for quite a little while when I was younger, before I realised I was a sensitive artistic type. You know. I started painting pictures like this, <laughs> which pretty much looks like a boxing. Pretty much looks like a boxing match, doesn't it, on canvas? <laughs> anyway, no, but I was always grateful to my dad because he taught me how to defend myself when I was young because I've always looked like a bit of a freak. And it just meant I never got bullied at school. And I, you know, I always managed, always got by to those other, you know, because I just wasn't worth, the, wasn't worth the hassle for the bullies. So I was always very grateful to him for that. So that, you know, just reminds me. <laughs> In a weird way, it reminds me of my dad, although he was like the least abusive person you could ever meet, you know, take it from me. But, um, but yeah, those are probably my, you know, my favourites. You know, the Hazel O'Connor song is brilliant as well, you know. I mean, I could go on and list off a whole list of songs, but I suppose this isn't really about that. It's just, um, yeah, congratulations to the guys. I think they made it, I think they've made a great, you know, mature sounding record in the best sense of the word. And just written some banging tunes and recorded them really well, you know. So it sounds like they're sounds like they're playing it in the room with you, but uh, you know, through the best possible stereo, yeah. So yeah, nice one. I think I should probably end it there and um, let you look at my mental picture for a while. Well done, guys. Anyway, hey, well done. <laughs>